Anyways, well, if, if he's going to so, freeze. So, how are we doing today? <laughs> if he's going to freeze, I'm not going to do anything. But. All right. We're here with another quick, it's not going to be a long day. We only got four things to try. One of them might actually be three things, but still. We found some chips that we've been, we got the chips we've been looking for for a while. Two of them are Doritos and one is uh, Lay's, well, Ruffles. The first one we're going to go with is Tangy Ketchup. Yeah, we've, I saw them online and I'm like, you need to get them. That sounds really good. We found them at a gas station and I'm hoping they're, I'm actually saying this that being who I am. I'm hoping they're not as good as the Canadian ketchup. Yeah, because those are like the best. Those are like bomb. Yeah. <laughs> so. Yeah, there's chips. <laughs> oh. Ooh. Not as good as regular ketchup chips. But they are, no, they're as good. They're a good substitute because uh, even though we're in Michigan, which is close to Canada, we have a hard time getting the ketchup chips. Her best friend's brother-in-law is a true Canadian, mm-hmm. and uh, he is going to get us some ketchup chips because those things are so amazing, and we don't have to spend $20 per bag, pretty much. We really have kick- kicked them. Mm-hmm. Very light kick. But these are a good substitute when we don't have the ketchup chips and can't get to them. Definitely more flavorful than I thought they were going to be. We're going to keep the uh, tangy going with hot mustard burrito. I'm not a fan of spicy mustard, but never know. It's just a light kick for me, but I I eat spicy brown mustard with stuff. I don't mind it. It's actually better than I thought it was going to be. Mustard potato chip. Hand me a ketchup one. (laughs) Or hand me the bag. Yeah. Just get around. (laughs) Ketchup and mustard. Now that's interesting. Yeah. Mm Mm-hmm. But when you eat them combined like I just did, there was no spice on the mustard. But I don't mind them. We're going to go on to the ruffles that she, she, I've tried these in the past and I, but I don't remember them, but I know that I've tried them in the past. Okay, so ruffles. Okay, so we're going to try them. They smell like the uh, sour cream and cheddar almost. Yeah. I don't want to say I like them better than the sour cream and cheddar, but... You like them better than the sour cream and cheddar? Yeah. Because there's that little tiny bit of a kick. Yeah, they're really good, though. I mean, I would definitely get them again. These are ones that I would actually pay for the big bag. Yeah. Next, we bought a four-pack of these with different flavors, hopefully. We're moving to sweet, by the way. Warheads Sour Popping Candy. So, pretty much, it's Warheads meets... uh, What's that? Pop Rocks. Pop Rocks. And there's different ones in here. I'm hoping there's all all flavors. Me too. There's... Watermelon. Three different flavors. We're going to start with the one that has two packs. The Watermelon. 
Yeah, they, it's three flavors, but it comes in four packs. <laughs> because you'll get two of one. Yeah. <laughs> I'm scared. A little bit. Just a little bit. Um, yeah, they look exactly like Pop Rocks. Yeah. I'm not going to hold yeah, our hands up because uh, they'll fall. But mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I'm not getting any sour, though. Ow. Yeah, there's like no sour. Uh-uh. Like, outside of the actual original Warheads, I've lately been, I, either I'm becoming immune to sour, and anybody that knows me knows I don't really like sour, but there's, like, no sour in these things, because we tried, what was it, uh, it was supposed to be super sour cotton candy. Yeah. We just tried that one for fun, because it was all we had, and we're like, I'm not going to make a video for one item. But it wasn't sour. Like, we're both sitting here going... Isn't this supposed to be sour? This is like once you get the sour off of the, the warhead and then just up with the candy. That's what this was like. So. Next is the blue raz, which is her favorite. So she'll actually we're going to save the blue raz. <laughs> I mean. Save the best for last, hopefully. And we're going to skip that out for the green apple. This one's even more crushed up, I gotta point out, though. Yeah. There's no sour. Yeah. It's just, like I said, it's like, it's like after you get all the sour off of the candy and stuff with the sweet candy, that's all that is. Okay. This one, for our Breaking Bad fans. We found your blue math. <laughs> there's no sour. There's pain, but there's no sour because of the pop. Sorry, Warheads. On this one, you get a big fail. Oh, the rest of your stuff is sour, pretty much. Well, we for the most part. We took apart one of their um, rolling candies. You like roll it on your tongue. You're supposed to be able to roll it on your tongue and get the. We took that apart and just dumped it into a container. The rolling thing wasn't working. It's sour. <laughs> it's sour, but uh, she eats candy cigarettes and she dips it in that and eats it like that. That that's the only time you get sour with that one because it wasn't very sour to me. There was another one. It was little spray things that you could get. Again, not really sour. Um. Warheads, you're better at the can, uh, the hard candies than you are anything else right now. I'm sorry, but I, I, I don't like sour. I'm kind of sensitive to sour. And these were not sour at all. No, no, they weren't. These but, are a 1 out of 10. Yeah, but the chips, my favorite's the queso. My, Close second is the... The ketchup and mustard mixed was a 10 out of 10. The, the, all the chips get a 5 stars. Yeah, and like I said, it's it's the queso, and the very very close second is the ketchup chips, because yeah. they were really good. And the mustard, I like. I'm not a fan of the brown spicy mustard. I I'll probably like eat those for lunch now. Yeah. But so. that's all for now. Sorry, it's such a long video for so few items. That's okay. We'll, uh, we'll be back shortly with. Uh, I know that we have at least one uh, snack cart coming up, and hopefully, we're hoping to get pictures and stuff here. Because someone's birthday is coming up here real soon. And the plan is to either go to the casino and then come back here and have dinner. If we do it that way, there's no video or anything. Yeah. But if we do uh, the other thing, which is go to the... Fort Michelle Mackinac and the Mystery Town USA in Mackinac. Mackinac City, uh, not Mackinac Island. No, Mackinac City, yeah. If we, we do, could go to Mackinac Island, that'd be cool. If we do those two <laughs> things, then there will be pictures turned into a small video. Yeah. Or there'll be video and if we, we can. And we have our France, I think, is what we're waiting for. is Either France or Italy. One of the two. Um, there, we're waiting for that one to come in. It's, it's running late, apparently. So, But you'll see that one here soon. Keep walking and rolling. Bye.